everybody, this is a Lamley preview, and we have sure got a lot to look at today. A full preview not only of some new versions of some very cool models, but also a whole new product from Hot Wheels Premium. It is the Hot Wheels Premium Nissan set. I don't know what else to call it. It says Nissan here. It says Hot Wheels Premium here. You could maybe call it the four car set or the Nissan Garage set. I think that might be the, ultimately what uh, what the title of this or the name of this set is because it says Nissan and there is a garage. But we are going to open this up. Mattel sent this to me. I've had it for a few weeks now. I've been dying to open it up. It seems like now is the right time because we should see this in stores. Stores meaning store. I think this is a Walmart exclusive very, very soon. Maybe here at the end of December. Definitely sometime in January this is supposed to hit. I'm going to give you what I know. It's not a ton and we're just going to have a look at it. And I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to be excited about the set. If you're not already because this was showcased at the convention by the Hot Wheels team. It was fun to look at it there. We finally have it here. We're going to rip this thing open. I don't even know what I'm getting into. I have, I have not cut this thing open. I have no idea how long it's going to take to open. We're just going to do it. But this is the set. You've got four models in here, all Nissan themed. You have one uh, transporter, one hauler from the team transport. You also have three models, the Datsun 510 wagon. That's the special model of this one, to be sure. Um, you also have... A uh, Fair Lady Z, I believe that's the title. That one will make sure. And then a Nissan Laurel over here. And then some very cool art in the back. Julian Coyles, who does the artwork for Car Culture, has done the art for this. Uh, lots of people to uh, to mention in this set. Julian Coyles being one. Steve Vandervate being another who did the deco on this. He does the deco on all the, all the premium stuff like Car Culture. Of course, I think uh, two of these models, one designed by June Amai, the other designed by, uh, maybe both designed by June, but ultimately Mark Jones has his hand in this set as well. So let's have a look at it. Let's see what it looks like sealed. Like I said, I believe this is a Walmart exclusive set. Um, I have no idea if it's going to show up in uh, retailers around the world. If this shows up in another retailer, I just got that wrong, but I think I understand it's going to be a Walmart set. Uh, retail price, from what I understand, is $24.99 for this thing, which is not bad considering you're getting three premium cars plus a, uh, a transporter, and that fits about right in the price. Let's have a look at the back. You've got the four models, Datsun 510 Wagon, Nissan Fair Lady Z, and the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX, and then adding the Aerolift. We've seen the Aerolift as it debuted with the R34 Skyline. It's uh, also part of the RWB Porsche that is just coming out, and then uh, we see it here in this set. Um, we will uh, we'll just look at the uh, presentation. Sorry for the glare, but this thing is so big, I'm not used to showing it this way. You can see the garage is half open. There's a street outside, and then in the background here, not only do we have the models in the foreground, but in the background, Julian has provided some iconic previously released models. You see the uh, Hakoska skyline there behind the laurel uh, right over here in the uh, race of this thing with that one was released in Japan historics across from it one of my favorites among many is the Hakoska wagon if this thing comes apart we'll definitely look at it a little closer behind the Hakoska um, is the police version from Japan historics of the Ken Mary skyline Behind that, you see the, uh, or behind the wagon, you see the C210 Skyline from Japan Historics 2. And then I think if you go all the way to the back, it's really hard to see. Like I said, if I can get a close-up on it, you can see the R30 Skyline as well that's going to be, that was released in BASIC and we'll see in uh, Japan Historics 3. So a full distribution of cool Nissan cars. Um... Here's the bottom. I think many of you are interested in that. If you look over here, you can see some of the licensing. Nissan, of course. Gretti, Yokohama. Kaido House, that's June's brand. Japanese Nostalgic Car and JCCS. So we will probably see some of these yeah, show up on June's actual wagon. All right, should we open this thing up? Let's just work it together. And see what uh, what happens here. So we'll cut open the sticker, and we'll just go from go from here. Oops. There we go. 
So this thing is beautifully packaged. And while I'm opening this one, put this in the background. Okay, this is actually, if you want to take it out of the box, it's actually quite cool. There we can see the close-ups now of the models. Oh, and they're even reflected in the floor. Okay, this thing is something. You can even look right here. I don't want to destroy this because if I might have to put this back together. You can see here's the city. I'm trying to see if there's any icons here that would suggest what city it is. Hard to say. Some of you might recognize something you could let us know. But here is the set. This is, I mean, I am just quite impressed that there's, you really don't want to open it up, but we can go close up on the models for sure. We're going to definitely take them off. I believe these are all kind of wired in using that uh, wiring that makes some of these sets so difficult to open. But you can see the models are here. I don't even know what else to say. We're just going to get these off. Now, it's going to take me a long time to do it, so we will cut away. And uh, let's see how easy, well, let's, you can just kind of see what the packaging is. There it is. So it's actually rubber bands. This won't take too long, but I don't think you need to watch me do this. So let's, uh, let's get these open very quickly. All right, we did it. They are rubber bands. You can cut them. Probably scissors is better than using a box opener. I did cut myself, but uh, that's just going to happen. Pretty good that I consider I cut myself. Not badly, but only cut myself once. All right, so the models are sealed by rubber bands. We're going to take those off. I think they're pretty easy to take off. Here we go. We will start with the uh, Aerolift hauler, and then we will move through the models. We will culminate with the ultimate release of June's 510 wagon. So let's start with the Aerolift you're already familiar with the truck. You've seen it twice in Team Transport, at least once in retail. It's coming with the Porsche here real soon. What I like about this one is we've gotten some, uh, looks like they've gone with the Watanabe rims on this one. I think the first time we've seen those on a hauler, which makes a lot of sense considering these are, uh, these are all Japanese themed cars, very much JDM style, all of these. Um, obviously this hauler, can uh, turn back and forth so the cars can actually load on and off. White cab, pretty simple. Nissan on the sides, blue uh, blue flatbed. Just simple, but very very cool. And we'll have to uh, we'll have to put uh, each car on the flatbed for sure with the with the arrow lift. Next one, let's go with the Fair Lady Z. This casting I think started as a uh, Junamai designed it for basic and then it got a new nose for Japan Historics 2 if you remember it was in yellow this one has the uh, six spoke TE37 style rims on it which makes sense now what's cool about this one is that this deco with the red top and the white sides with the BRE kind of homage stripes on the side actually were done for, was it the 370Z, I believe, as part of the Nissan 50th anniversary? And I'm assuming this set is part of that, just to celebrate the, the uh, anniversary. But you can see, uh, they actually took that deco and applied it to the Fair Lady Z, which is very, very cool. So there is a reason for this particular deco on this one as a tribute to the 50th anniversary of Nissan, I think, or as the Z, I think, or something like that. It's, uh, all right. Nissan Laurel, and I'm oh, I'm gonna get the rubber band off of there. I am totally digging this color. I really love the first release. We've seen uh, some clean ones. We've seen this what uh, in Greddy Deco as Team Transport. Obviously, the Japan Historics two release in green with the Greddy and the JNC on the side, and then uh, and then this one, and then of course Golf two, right? And then this is the next version sitting on the nice tiny four spoke four spoke rims in yellow Yokohama Gretti and JNC for sure here on the absolutely gorgeous Laurel 
I would say that because I just think the Laurel is such a clean casting, since it was made and the way it sits, the way it sits so low, it's just a proper Japanese JDM style casting. Pig's butt, pig's butt Laurel is its nickname. But you can't, I don't think any model can surpass this one. I just finished doing a video on Sunday calling June's 510 Wagon the most definitive Hot Wheels model of the last decade. But this wagon itself, the replica of this wagon, this is the proper, the ultimate proper replica of June's wagon. In fact, I'll pull them out. We had the Boulevard to start, right? Which is in this mint green. It's actually a little bit slightly different shade than June's wagon, but it was proper and that it was the casting was done to replicate June's wagon. The red rims were part of the deal. Um, and so this was, and that's how he ran the wagon with uh, just a very simple color scheme. And then uh, I don't think any outside of just the normal stock badging on the car, that's how he ran it at first. Then for JCCS, I can't remember what year, maybe 2013 or 2012, I believe, he actually added some deco. And then that car debuted with that color, that kind of olive green color, red rims, but more of the lower styled four spoke rims. But that deco was then replicated on the Super Treasure Hunt in 2014. The roundel with the zero in the middle, Speed Hunters logo. I think the Speed Hunters logo was on it. JDM Legends, JNC. I think, I don't think that, that, that those logos were exactly on his car, but this styling with the zero roundel was definitely shown off on the uh, on the car that he showed off at JCCS. And that's how the car really became famous, was this deco, but on the olive green. So the Super Treasure Hunt is an homage to June's car, but just the wrong color. So you had the Boulevard. Then we saw it replicated last year. Same zero roundel deco, but not on the olive green. Watanabe rims, but those weren't the proper rims on his car. So this was kind of a loose homage to June's car. But now we are here. June has since left Hot Wheels, but he's still very friendly with Hot Wheels. He works with them. Obviously, Kaido House, his brand, is part of the life. He has a license agreement with Hot Wheels. And this is the ultimate June Amai tribute model here in the Nissan set. You can see the color is proper. The rims are proper. Four, four spoke rims. They develop those scents. And then full deco, proper deco, how the car was presented back in 2012 with the zero roundels. Kaido House. You've got the nostalgic car. I think that is exactly what the logo looked like when it was there. Of course, he put the zero on the back. We've never seen that before until now. Dots and badging on the rear as well. It is all there. It is all proper. Grill fully detailed. And you have to think that June has a smile on his face as he looks at this model. This is something proper, something cool, and something that I think is going to be one of the collectible models the Nissan Garage 4 model set. The packaging is fantastic. I will be looking for this in Walmart. I will definitely buy one to keep packaged. But it is nice to open one too, put it in my car culture display, add those to that. And it is nice to open it too so you can see all the detailing in Julian's fantastic artwork. I don't think I need to convince you to go get this. I think you're going to go get it once you can find it. Anyway, thank you, Mattel, for sending this. Thank you for letting me show it. You guys tell me what you think about the models, about the set itself. Very unique. Hope to see more garage-style sets like this coming from Hot Wheels. There's a million things that they could go with, for sure. Thanks, everybody. Bye.